Good morning, my name is James and welcome back to the channel. I'm an engineering student studying in the University of Manchester and in today's video I'm going to take you through the whole week of me studying for my exams that are next week. I just want to show you what a week in the life of an engineering student is like leading up to an exams. So I'm going to go for a five mile run now. See you around. It's raining but we've got this. I hate going for morning runs and that's why I have to discipline myself to do it because it gives me more mental adaptations so that when I do something stressful in my life like when my parents die or someone I love that dies or I go to an exam room or I have an interview all of these things you're preparing your mind and your body to deal with stressful scenarios and being like a monk with suffering <laughs> and embracing it because I live by the quote suffer now live the rest of your life as a champion I was a wet cold run but I loved it I'm gonna go have my three minute cold shower now because that makes me feel amazing afterwards and I'll get on reviewing my Anki, revise my test tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in there. AG1 with coffee. I normally have the same thing pretty much every day. I have Next, <laughs> um, I recently changed it up by putting a tortilla wrap in. See, there's some eggs. One thing about going for a run in the morning is that I'm so bloody hungry. Like, I could eat four of those egg sandwiches I just made. My poor bike is probably really soaked. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> My poor bike. <laughs> so I've just finished my journaling now. And I think the main thing for me with journaling is it allows me to embrace the stoicism within me because I love it. I love focusing on the things I can control and knowing what's important to me. I'm gonna do the first thing, which is review my flashcards. <laughs> Congratulations. I've just finished the deck that I needed to review for my test tomorrow and yeah, uh, I'm happy I reviewed it. I will show you something quickly. This is like my flashcards almost, so if I go there, see how I've got like this custom format. It's quite nice because then I can edit it and get rid of stuff. So this is an example where I just put like the YouTube video in there. Because it helps because I can just have the understanding in this box. I have the stuff I need to know in this box, so it's pretty helpful. So if you want to copy this, you click cards. Uh, that's my front, back. This is my back template. This code here allows you to add this button and then styling. This is my styling. And I wish I'd done this earlier to be honest. I've just bought a controller. So I'm going to try and use a controller when I review my Anki cards. So stick around to see if that works tomorrow. My plan is that I want to review my flashcards with my left hand and then write the information from the flashcards with my right hand. Not a bad day out there now. So I think I might do a bit more work. I studied a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I'm done now for the day. I've got my exam tomorrow at two o'clock. So I'll do a review of my Anki flashcards before that exam. So my plan now is to go to the gym and do about two hours in the sauna. I know that sounds crazy. I watched this podcast with Lex Friedman and Andrew Huberman, and they were talking about what's the optimum amount of sauna usage to get the massive increase in growth hormone. There was a study done. So it was basically 30 minutes in the sauna, five minutes outside the sauna. And they did that four times. And it was like the 16 times increase in your growth hormone. And I've never done this, but I'm gonna try it today for the first time. Um, wish me luck. I might be all dehydrated before my exam tomorrow, but I want the optimum amount of growth hormone. I will see if this kills me. I'm gonna try the growth hormone sauna session.
at one point during that, like five minutes before the end, I really want to get out. But I know success comes in those last five minutes. So I'm going to cycle back now and I normally listen to this breathe app. I'll put it on the screen. And um, this hum, hum, it's just like that. And it just helps me breathe and recover. So I've just got back from the gym now. I'm picking up my girlfriend and we're going to go have the evening together. Watch the end of the series four of you, um, which is really good. Looking forward to that. And then wake up and back to the mundane studying gym life. Um, but I love it. It's a choice to take the hard route. So enough of me now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning, day two has arrived. I'm heading to the engineering building now where my exam's gonna be. I've got my chewing gum ready, which I always chew before my exam. I'm gonna get there about three hours before my exam. So I've got enough time to review all my flashcards. So that's good. See you guys. just heading to my um, exam now. I just finished all my review of my Hanky flashcards in the library just there. You know what, I feel good. I feel confident and I've taken it as a challenge and I've done everything that's in my control. And everything now is outside my control and I'm ready to smash it. Um, I believe with exams that you suffer more in like imagination of it than actually in reality. When I go to an exam, it's actually fine. I get it done, I show up, I do this stuff. So let's get it, I'll see you guys in a bit. Finished. Uh, it feels amazing. Happy it's done. But you know what? Never finished. Always keeping going. Always the next thing. I'm heading home now and open my Anki controller that I've just bought, which is fun. I'll do some more revision with that. I've got my tutoring later on this evening. One of the biggest things I've learned in my first year here at uni of Manchester is that the friends and loneliness is that you have to bring to the relationship of being an organizer. Because I've found that if I don't organize going out with a friend, I never meet a friend, you know? So that's my goal each week is to organize a meeting with someone like one of my friends or going to the gym with someone, something simple like that because people will love you for it. Just finished my tutoring now. It feels really nice to um, go over A level content again. So, just received the parcel, the, um, the Anki controller that I ordered yesterday. So, this will be fun. Uh, let's see what this is like. It's very small. Let's test it out and see if it works well. Look, it's tiny. That's gonna be brilliant that I can just hold it in one hand, just do it like that. That's perfect. So this is really cool. So watch that, you can see. And you go back. I have um, really, really satisfied, so I can just do it in one hand now. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, pretty cool investment. Uh, should you use it? Is it very essential? I'm not too sure. So dinner is served. It's pretty much when it comes to like my day. I live on this thing called a mandatory minimum. It means that I have to do 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, and like 100 squats a day and do 200 flashcards a day. They're just my rules for the day. And if I get that done, it's a good day, you know? And stuff like reading every day, just following my habits. And I have these mandatory minimums that I try and follow every day. So, you know, it's too much of a beautiful day compared to yesterday. So I'm going to the park now to execute on my mandatory minimum. <laughs> Let's go for a walk, be outside, isn't it just beautiful? I love being outside, it just makes my day. Just being outside with the nature, ah, I just love it. Just can't beat it. Whew. This is 
great, you know, it's a great reset. I get to have moments like this, where I can, where I can think about how, if this was my last moment, what a beautiful one it would be. You know, I really do like to think about death a lot because it's inevitable and it makes my life more beautiful, so. So I'm gonna to go to bed now. I'm gonna hop into bed, read my book, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning team. It is Wednesday and I'm going for my five mile run now. It's beautiful outside and I can't wait. Yesterday evening, I realized I love doing time blocking on a physical notepad compared to doing it on a computer. Because one thing is I did it throughout my A-levels last year where every time before I went to bed or when I was stopping doing work. So this is amazing because it allows you to write down for me what I want to do on the left hand side of the page and drag it over to the time block that I want to make it. And then I just write, draw an arrow if I can't get it done for that day. I just tick a box for the last day and say schedule shutdown complete. Um, this really helps with stress levels. After reading Deep Work by Cole Newport, he goes into this a lot and this really helped. I've tried all different methods, but this is the one that really helps me reduce stress during exams and focus on the lead measure and not the lag measure. So in studying, that's how deep focus you can get. And removing distractions like social media, get rid of your phone, but stay in focus. And if you focus on that, the grade will come. That's not the main goal. The main goal is to increase your focus and actually take exams as an opportunity, be able to train that ability to learn something deeply because that's so powerful and it's so important. I'm going for my five mile run. I'll see you guys in a bit at the library probably and I'm executing on my habits, which is at from nine to 2 p.m. every day. I'm gonna be using my Aki controller today. So look forward to that. See you guys in a bit. Five miles done. It's a good run. I lost my headband though, but so I had about nine hours of sleep last night. I'm changing the breakfast up now. I had my morning run, so I feel bloody incredible. I'm gonna devour this now. So I'm heading to university now. I've just started listening to this song called Daylight. Oh, it's amazing. That's made my day. Um, I'm definitely gonna play some guitar and play some music later. I can't wait to get six hours of studying done and then just have some moment with me and my guitar. I just finished my three to four hour study session. I've got a 30 minute break now. And honestly, I just tried out the Anki flashcard controller for the first time. It increased my reviews by like double. Honestly, I wish I did it for my A-levels. It would have made it so much easier, much more systematic and much more efficient, I feel like. So that's probably the best 17 pounds I've ever spent in my life. I'm gonna get my meal deal now. And I'll see you guys in a bit. raining I'm gonna run back inside it's around four o'clock now so I'm going to the gym for about two hours when I study I like to do one thing at one time so I have no phone I open I have all my notifications off. It's on do not disturb. My phone is turned off. I don't look at it for about eight hours. I like to be called a bad correspondent because you know, um, I like the deep life. I like getting into flow. And the only way I can do that is by eliminating and removing all distraction. So I'm gonna get on with the gym now and I'll see you guys in a bit. I just got back from the gym now and final reflections of the day is that that Anki controller is pretty wicked. Like I've never ever looked at studying as a game before, but that is just made my day, my week, because it's made it a game, it's made it fun and it makes it satisfying. So if you've not tried out Anki, please try it. It's what made me love studying, I think, and what makes me motivated and makes me want to keep going because I can see what I did before and I can compare myself and try and get better every day. 
and see study and see everything as a challenge because it organizes it all in one place and it's pretty much there just for you to do the work and you to put the effort in and it's reassuring because you know when you keep doing it and you keep showing up with that and you keep playing the game and you keep persevering you will succeed and you'll do well in your exams that's what helps me keep calm during exams and I hope it helps you keep calm as well I'm gonna play some guitar finally have a chill evening dinner served I've just finished playing guitar now um, it's about 9 p.m. and I am going to read a book call my girlfriend and have a chill night so I'll see you guys tomorrow Thursday morning. I didn't get much sleep last night because I was reading Fort Last Stars for a bit too late. <laughs> um, I'm now doing my time blocking because I forgot to do it last night. So I'm going to plan my day now, um, get ready for the day. Today on the agenda, it's going to be a busy one because I've got this past leader trading. So I'm going to be learning how to be a tutor for the lower years next year in second year here at uni. So that's going to be fun, that's going to be interesting. I love tutoring, I love teaching people throughout my A levels right now throughout this year i've been tutoring because i believe that to truly understand something you have to be able to teach it and be able to explain it to someone and i teach myself and how do i do that i use my flashcards and i talk to myself and write it down and today time blocking is so important because i can't execute on my habit so i have to find time of my day to do the studying around this teaching class pass thing i'm doing today and it's quite crazy how quickly it's all gone you know like I just felt like I've only just started here at uni but I'm going to be my second year already because I'm not going to be here in this accommodation for long and yeah I appreciate life um, I think about death a lot negative visualization because it helps me appreciate the moment I do truly believe that journaling is so much more patient than people like I can just talk most to myself about my feelings and what's happening at the moment so I don't get overwhelmed and it's all in perspective and I can find new perspectives and which one works best for the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going doing this then go to uni and I'll see you guys maybe at lunchtime. Having my lunch now um, is really good. I'm using it as an opportunity to grow my confidence muscle. I'm answering all the questions they got to ask. That's what I do with lectures as well. I try to answer the questions, try and be confident, try and speak up and have my voice heard because I believe I could use this as an opportunity to prove my confidence. You truly understand something. You can understand it in your head and be able to make someone else understand it in theirs as well. And that's the most important part about learning. And that's why I love doing stuff like pass and teaching people because it actually helps me and the person there. And it actually creates a community around it and makes it more fun because we're doing it together because we can achieve more together than alone. I'm gonna get some food now. I'll see you guys in bed. Just finished now. I'm going to do some studying for about four more hours. Look at the state of this. It's raining down there. Right now, I don't feel motivated, but the drive is what keeps me going. I'm driving towards getting good grades in my exams. That's where I want to be. And it's about four o'clock now. I'm going to go to the library, get about three hours of work done because I haven't done any today. just got back from the library now 
um, I'm gonna cook myself dinner and execute my mandatory minimum, 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, and 100 squats, get that done. It's all a bit overwhelming exams, so I think I'm just gonna go for a walk. I always feel better after going for a walk or a run. You're a fighter, keep fighting. I feel so mentally clear. It's just something about having a walk. It just clears my head, it stops the demons. I'm gonna go up to my room, sleep, recover, and another day of studying. Good morning, and it is Friday. It's come to end. It's been an absolute journey. I'm gonna finish by doing a Murph, which is a mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups. 300 squats, then I do another mile back. So yeah, I'm gonna to run to my local park, which is a mile away, try and get this done with a 15 kg weight vest on. Challenge yourself, put yourself outside your comfort zone and do hard things. Let's get it. Sit down, nine to go. Just finished the main part of the workout, and I was just thinking to myself, you know, my biggest fear is being comfortable because I believe you're either getting better or you're getting worse waking up in the morning shocking my body trying to seek discomfort trying to find growth because I believe growth comes from discomfort and growth comes in moments like this when it's raining in the morning but now you can see a pocket of blue sky so I'm gonna run back now and I'll see you guys later I've just had my breakfast now. I reviewed Anki for about an hour, heading to the library now. Um, it's a beautiful day, can't complain. See you guys then. So I'm back from university now and I've watched Andrew Huberman's podcast where he says, if you get opposite flow when you walk and you see images flying past you, it reduces your stress levels by reducing the activation of the amygdala in your brain. So that's the protocol I try to follow every day. Get outside as quickly as possible and walk or run. So I'm at my desk now and I'm going to do about 90 minutes more. And I haven't really talked about how I schedule in my deep focus throughout the week. I think this is probably the most important part of this video, which is I have an add-on on my computer which is called self-control. You see that right there? Basically blocks all apps and websites that I, can't, I shouldn't go on when I study. And I try and review Anki for about 90 minutes when I study. And then I try and do that and just try and focus on that. I don't get up from the chair. I try and stay here. I try and just think about the content. So I try and do it as intensive pos as possible. And you'll be surprised about how much you can get done in a very intense 90 minute block. I'm gonna start my 90 minute timer now. Let's go. Just finished, feels good. Um, done about six hours of studying today. It's been deep, it's been focused. It's been... That's been my week. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week and your next week. And I, ho I hope the perspective of my own week is gonna help you in some way in your life. So I love you all and I hope you all have a beautiful week and a beautiful day. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you 
in the next one.